everybody. Guess what's cooking? We are. <laughs> well, today we're going to show you the magic of this EnjoyBot battery that we've been fiddling around with. And I actually got to cook with it. Mashed potatoes and, and rolls. And um, stay tuned after this quick message and buy me a coffee if you can. Just donate to the channel. It really helps us out. All right, guys. Y'all seen that? Y'all stay tuned. We're going to do a quick one here. Results, outcomes, right? Yep. This is a video about 36 volts and Kira is cooking right now, cooking everything. So we're running, what do we got here? 1,063, uh, 1,400. So I don't know what we got going in. Oh, here, turn that up some. So we're pulling, um, 2,500 constant watts, pretty much, off of this little thing here. And it's feeding from this beautiful thing. This is the EnjoyBot. It is a premium 36-volt battery. And if you want to know why in the hell is he using that 36-volt battery, look right up here. Boom. you got to check out that video that leads to another one. It's about this stuff. Okay? Wind turbines. 48-volt wind turbine in a low-wind area will charge 36 volt batteries and then 36 volt batteries can send that power to anything in any voltage you can charge a 48 24 12 whatever you want so we're running this enjoy bot right now pulling a constant 71 amps and when this thing kicked on earlier so i'm gonna move it back this thing here has got biscuits it's kira's biscuits nice about half done and we use electric for a lot of things off grid so if you look over here you see all of these these are all lithium batteries right here and them lithium batteries are running into lead acid uh oh yeah lead acid now we set everything for AGM up here and we removed their float took their float down to 12.9 on all the settings so all these controllers that's what they're doing. Look below the video for the links to any of these items here. This 3,000 watt power inverter at 36 volt. And what's going to shock you about this inverter and that battery company is that they have so many options. And you can get that inverter, and this is going to blow your mind. I can get an inverter that puts out 120 volts AC from as high as 300 and 80 volts DC all the way down to 12 volts. So I can have a 12 volt, 24 volt. You want one special? You want one to work on your, your lithium ion? Well, hell, they can make you one of them. If you want one that'll work on uh, some kind of freak new sodium battery, they can make you one of them. That company, CNS Sweet Power, has been in business for 20 freaking years, they lead the industry, but they're the cheapest that you can buy for what? And the reason is, is because they, they own the whole place. It's not like going through a reseller to a reseller to a shipper to a, they own everything. That's why you're going to get these for under $300. Hardly anybody sells you 3,000 watt true sign way for that. Now, this is EnjoyBot. Comes in every kind of variation you can imagine. And you can put up to six of these, six of these 36 volt batteries together. I know the book says four or five. You can put six. Your whole home can run off of this. So as you see, we're pulling a constant, non-stop. Our voltage, I want you to look. This is cooking food. Still 38.4. 38.4. Still. Isn't that wild? That's just nuts. So we've got this boiling. 
this baking 1400 watts 1000 watts off a 3000 watt inverter you hear the fan running on it pulling 70.71 amps and it's still sitting at 38 volts 121 volt output all the other inverters you buy, they got like 108 to 112 volts. This is the genuine stuff to what your outlets would be in your house. So I'm giving y'all the best thing you can do for solar and wind power is to use a battery like this. The reason is simple. It's great for wind power in low wind areas. It has a superior output for a battery at size. And back to what I was saying we had a we couldn't figure out why this thing here continued i got the fan running why this thing here oh and i got five amps coming in to that off of this thing and that is running off the power cables that run back over to over there to the uh still solar power how you like that all right so five amps is going in and five amps is not going to make a dent when you're pulling when you're pulling in excess of 62 amps Oof, that's hot the uh, the thing we figured out is that this battery was pulling over 105 amp hour at 36 volt. The battery itself is saving itself. So they have to warranty these for a long time when they sell this to golf cart companies. And they make it purposely to where you can't quite get to 100% and you can't quite get to 0%. Now everybody knows about a lithium battery. If you go like the way that they're all set, like these here, they're set to go off at 0%, all the way and shut off at 100%. Well, that shortens the hell out of their lives. So if you have a solar charge controller like that one, and they this is for 12 volt too. So this 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 LI time can handle 12 volt, this ha can handle 24 volt, 36 volt, and 48 volt. It's a miracle machine, and it's based on one that's identical that can't do some of that. So worth a couple of hundred bucks to buy, buy that one. Um, so what do we have now, Kara? We have mashed potatoes. All right. So Kara, what have you done with your solar power? I cook with it. Is that, is that something you do on a regular basis? Yeah. All right. Mainly the baking thing, right? Yeah. 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 She, she bakes cakes in that thing. I, I, I don't ask. So you like that? Mm -hmm. Cobblers, mm -hmm. pies, mm -hmm. real housewife, aren't you? Not and yet. And crisp. Don't forget crisp. And crisp. Yep. Yeah. One of these days, you're going to be one of them housewife ladies. So, all right. Down here is the best battery you can get for a 36-volt battery. If you're going to get a battery and you're going to put it in your system, this is what you want. Now, Sweet Power Inverters is under XIA, X-I-J-I-A. They've been that name and brand for years. Look at my pre previous videos. Look at the end of the video. You'll see this sweet power inverter. You guys are going to build you a system. You can send voltage up or down based off of that. You can do it. You can go with just a 12 volt system, 36 for your wind turbines. You can go with a 36 volt system, 12 volt for all your lighting. The forgotten voltage. You know, it's kind of like the National Rambler and the, and the Tucker car. <laughs> it was the better thing in the day. But 36 volt is the marine voltage, aeronautical voltage. Um, it's the voltage that's used in transmission and communication systems. 48 is not. 48 is a new consumer voltage. 36 is an industrial voltage. All of our uh, PLCs, all our control systems that we used to use in the pipe fitting business, years ago, 36 volt. All the big pumps and valves, 36 volt. There was a reason for it. And what do you got to say to everybody? Bye. Thank you. Y'all be good.